Greetings, poets. Cole Pepper here in my lucky grading hat. Uh, the topic of today's message is panic in the poetry class. Because, yes, your portfolios are due. Yes, they are due soon. Yes, I know you're in a panic. I know you're running out of time. I know your life is full of too many things to do and you can't keep up with it. I know you probably have finals and other classes. I know that things are going on at home. I know things are broken. Your car is in the shop. All kinds of crazy things are happening and you don't have time and you can't deal with it now and you're about to have a breakdown. But it's okay because you will get this done. You have time. Uh, and so try to stay calm. Do actually read all the instructions. I've given you lots of instructions uh, so that it will be very clear for you what you need to do and especially pay attention to the advice for how to determine which poems you put in your portfolio because um, I've give you some, given you some suggestions that will make it much easier than just like going down the list of uh, requirements that I've given you. You need to, you do need to look at that list of course and make sure that your submissions match it but it will be a lot easier if you pick your good poems first and then work with those as your base and make adjustments as needed to make sure you've met all the requirements. Um, you have a weird Friday night deadline. And I normally make portfolios due on the Wednesday of finals week at noon, which would be like right now while I'm making this video noon Wednesday. Um, but because of the way the uh, second eight week thing works in the spring. Um, things get really scrunched up because of the way spring break falls and so on. And so that's why I shortened unit seven a little bit from what I usually do and made the portfolio deadline later so that you will have a little more time to do what you need to do. Uh, don't feel obligated to wait until 11.58 on Friday to turn in your portfolio. You are, of course, welcome to turn it in earlier if it is finished. I will um, have it set up in Blackboard to allow three or four attempts in case you submit and then realize you wish you had done something else. Um, but because I'm giving you such a de uh, late deadline, once we get to that deadline and everything is, is turned in and I'm ready to grade, there really won't be time for redos. So it's really important that you you know, stay on top of things and make sure you turn in what you really want to turn in. Um, other than that, just make sure you proofread everything really carefully because this is your, you know, final showpiece, masterpiece, masterwork, show off, impress me, impress everybody else kind of thing. So, uh, you want to not only be good, but to look good. And, um, yeah, so have fun with that. Let me know if you have questions. Uh, it's been a great class. Uh, I've enjoyed reading your stuff. Uh, even now, when I'm having a breakdown because I have more things to read than I possibly can read, I still enjoy reading your stuff um, far more than I'm enjoying reading research papers, but that is a different story altogether. Um, so, yeah, it's been fun, and uh, get your stuff done, and I will uh, maybe see some of you around.